We are here with Team USA, world record setters in the 4x4 today at Pan Am Juniors. 3 flat point 3 3. Who would have thought this record would have been broken at a Pan Am Junior, not even World Junior? But these guys did. They called it, they prepared for it. And let's start with uh, you, Brian. You know, this was your only race of the meet. You were fourth at USA Juniors. How motivated were you to make sure you set the tone for Team USA? Um, I was pretty nervous, uh, like, just getting here. Like, I, the adrenaline was, like, rushing, and I was so scared. But as you see, I just pulled it off. And Zach, you know, the, the your Open 400 didn't go quite as well as you wanted to, even though you ran an awesome sub 46. But after you took the baton from Brian, what was going through your mind, and how motivated were you to show what you could really yeah, do? Yeah, I mean, I was a little disappointed after the 4, so I wanted to come show it that I could do it. 4x4 four four, and I was a little nervous but once I saw Brian take off all that went away and I just focused on running as hard as I could. And Sean again this was your only race here too you know you knew the record was on after two laps you knew you guys were right about three flat, flat pace T tell us about your leg. Man I just you know I just came prepared you know I had to do what I had to do what I had to do. I just came out came big. Is that ready. simple? <laughs> <laughs> all right. With Josephus, you were kind of the ringleader here. You've been a, for, you were on a world championship 4x4 four four three years ago, back when you were a young, just a young guy. And I, I have a feeling you were the one who started this whole sub, you know, three minute talk. Tell us about how it all came together. Man, when we made the team, I mean, like, Brian has his lowest PR at 46 flat, and 46 flat as a sophomore is nothing to laugh about. I mean, you know, this is probably the most stacked junior team to ever exist. I mean, you got four dudes who are potentially 45 seconds, 44 seconds maybe. So for us to come out here, we already knew that we had to go three flat or better. We already knew that, you know, the goal was sub three flat. So, you know, going into this race, all of us were prepared. Everybody was gearing up. You know, we stepped on the track. Ryan set it off, Zach kept it going, Sean opened it up, he gave it to me, you know I know what I gotta do, I see all my people roll out, I see them give 100%, and you know I gotta give 100% with them, so we went, ran that three flat, you know, I was, last 50 meters, I was hurt, and I was looking at the clock, and I see 258 with 10 meters left, and I was like, ooh, that giant hurt, I was swimming for the line, but, <laughs> swimming, he was swimming, I was swimming for the line, but we crossed there, it was a world junior record by almost a second, so you know, I couldn't ask for anything more from these guys. Great group of people. You, you know, you've had a challenging last year and a half with your senior year, finishing with an injury, and also, you know, not starting out early in, the, in your pro career quite like you wanted. But the last three races have been really big for you. You set a PR in Italy a few weeks ago. So, how confident were you coming in here that the old Josephus was all the, almost all the way back? You know, I have been, you know, it has been a rough year, but, you know, lately I've been training really well. So, you know, me coming into this meet, I'm already thinking I'm going to PR, and I did. You know, I'm still not done. You know, I feel like I'm, I got more in me. So hopefully I get in a couple more things today this year and I can get my 44 because I know it's coming. Yeah, yeah, that 44 is coming. All right, thank you.